the Carnot model and main parameters of value in TRIZ. In TRIZ, the theory of inventive problem solving, we know MPVs as main parameters of value. Those main parameters of value correspond very good with the Carnot model. In Carnot no model, we know requirements to a product as basic needs, performance needs, and delighters. The Carnot model is very well known in innovation management. In Dress, we found also another MPV that is somewhere hidden in the basic needs, but that the customer is not very aware of. But if you miss to fulfill those needs of these MPVs, you are in deep trouble. We had Dr. Sergei Ikovenko for a one-day course in Germany and he talked about this MPV discovery. But uh, there are other types of uh, PVs and MPVs that we still need to have in mind. So clearly expressed and unsatisfied, that's what companies do. Um, there are those uh, latent MPVs, that is uh, probably the, is in the holy grail. That's what we need to get. Because if we get one, or at least a valid candidate, because we never know if it is really a latent MPV. It is just our idea. But what is good if we have this idea or candidate of latent MPV? We can go to our customers. We have very good relationship with customers. And they will be honest with us. They will not hide anything. They will honestly tell us if they pay money for that or not. The problem here is uh, how to come up with this idea of this latent MPV. And that's what we will talk about. That's where some three tools you know, can contribute in a very interesting way uh, that other methods uh, do not uh, really do. So that is important. Um, there are other known PVs, and they are satisfied. Basically, you know, um, Michael Tracy said, if a parameter is satisfied, it is not a differentiator anymore, right? Other products also have, <coughs> but it is something that we still must have, because if we lose it, um, you know, that would really spoil our product. It will um, disappoint the customers. That is why we still need to uh, keep track and satisfy those, uh, and you know, keep those satisfied known um, parameters of value. Uh, in our class, we usually use the speed of cars. You know, the speed of cars has not been improve, increasing, right? When new, when new cars come to the market, the speed is approximately the same. And probably when you shop for a new car, speed is not a differentiator, is not a criteria, unless you are shopping for a race car or something. But if uh, the car drives slower, you will be very disappointed, because you expect the car to drive at a certain speed. So you expect those PVs to be there. That's why it is like a limitation. We should not decrease them. We should improve MPVs without losing or decreasing those PVs. And there are those, uh, Tracy called them tacit PVs. That is more dangerous. That's also probably you remember. It happened to me, and I use that example all the time. These are parameters that are satisfied, but when we do improvement of product, we subconsciously, we do not notice that, but we lose them or we deteriorate them. And then it becomes really a tragedy. You remember my shaving experience? Vladimir probably remembers, uh, the guys from this year remember, do you remember? Yeah. But uh, I did not have it when we mm. had that seminar because uh, this uh, program with British American Tobacco happened later. Mm -hmm. um, 
they brought me, uh, the, the, the was training in Japan. They brought me to, uh, put me in a nice hotel. And when I checked in, uh, in my hotel room, on my bed, I found uh, a, a brochure, an advertisement saying that if I help to sell, save the uh, environment, to protect the environment, if I agree to change my bedding, sheets and uh, towels, not every day, but once in three days, I will get points. And uh, when I check out, I can buy some products in the hotel store for these points. So this deal sounded pretty good. I was going to stay there for two weeks. The deal sounded <laughs> reasonable because I don't change uh, sheets at home every day. So I thought, if it is one in three days, I, I will survive. So for two weeks, I was accumulating those points. So by the time I was checking out, I had quite a lot. So I went to the store <coughs> to cash them, and there was nothing interesting there. But I had the points. You know, you cannot throw that away. So I decided to get uh, the shaving cream. It was a very nice package, uh, transparent, <coughs> clear, you know, shaving uh, foam, say shaving cream. I bought three packages. I cashed all my points, brought it back to Boston, and one day, and I was in a hurry, I remember, I decided to try that. Japanese cream. I squeezed it on my hand, put it on my skin, and uh, you know, people who know, they just keep it to themselves. Uh, what is the function of the shaving cream? What do you think? Make it smooth after. Smooth, uh, antiseptic, it smells nice, reduce friction, or on the contrary, makes hair very rough, so it is easier to cut. That's what I was, had been thinking. Mm -hmm. Until I tried the Japanese thing. I put it on my skin, started shaving, and I cannot shave. Why? I don't know where I have shaven and where I haven't. The cream, this thing is transparent. Mm -hmm. And here I realized, ooh, a very important function of the shaving cream is to inform me where I have shaven and where I have not. Because if you lose this function, it's impossible to shave. You have to touch your skin every other second to check if you have shaven here or you have not. Because you cannot tell otherwise. Well, if you're a long-term electrical shaver... Well, electrical, you just do it uh, yeah, right. many times the same thing. The, the same area, area. Yeah. yeah. But uh, with the, uh, that was like, I was uh, very upset. But at the same time, when I thought about it after, I thought, oh my God, there is this function that I had never suspected. The, I need shaving cream to be informed where I have shaved and where I have not. So it is not for the skin, it's basically for me. And somehow this, uh, <coughs> had been satisfied for years. I had never uh, 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 had, had a problem. But now they improved the cream, they did something, and they lost that tacit PV. And it made me, made, me, made me absolutely mad. You know, I was ready to throw out those packages without opening them, and definitely I would, will never buy the product of that company again. So these uh, PVs or PVs, uh, all of them, you know, are very kind of important because a customer is very sensitive to those. Some of them play the role of limitation. Some of them, you know, in our mind, uh, you know, it's a must be. And if I lose something, the consumer can get really irritated. So that's why when we do a PV discovery, it makes perfect sense to uh, actually explore all those. They are important. 